Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Craft Beer Review. So today um, we're looking at this one from Totally Brewed, based in the Castle Market area of Nottingham, aka Colic. Yeah, I would say it was Colic. Or is it Snenton? It's one of them funny areas. Um, so this is their cat software dog hardware so new england ipa 4.2 percent so we're talking very sessionable strength here and i do actually mean sessionable um celebration of all things hazy is brewed with lashings of citra and mosaic late in the boil name credit is tap room manager charlie tap room is called totally brew at uh, totally tapped it's in the Beeston area of Nottingham. If you know, if you're following my channel recently, you'll know that I go to Beeston quite a bit. We've been for a couple of weeks, mind you, but uh, um, going away on holiday and also a beer festival as well. There was a music festival, and I'm not really up on the music. So, here we go. May well have had this at the the recent robin hood uh beer and cider festival um i think anyway i'm not 100 percent sure so as we can see it's a hazy orangey pour with a, a white head and as always with um totally brew artwork stunning um i'm trying to think who does it max rock art so yeah ng2 Three JJ NG two um, is actually quite could encompass as quite a big area because you've got West Bridgeford's NG two and I'm sure the Meadows is actually NG two. So um, an NG two is also the home place of both Magpie Brewery and um, Navigation Brewery. So quite the uh, quite the area for breweries. And Castle Rock Brewery is also there. So four breweries, literally 10 minutes walk between them. So. <sighs> Lovely tropical aromas coming from this. And uh, just recently, uh, Totally Brewed have been cranking out the releases. They're pushing their release schedule. And I like this because makes you relevant um other local breweries like their mates at neon raptor and black iris bring out quite a, a you know a range of beers i mean neon raptor are canning literally two or three per week um that's impressive that is you know and it's only a dinky blooming brewery um unless they've got another site that they do half the brewing at i don't think so i think it's all done at uh Snenton. Very hoppy. Um, obviously, it's four point two, so it's um, you're not going to get the I would say like the thickness that you would probably from you know something that was six or seven percent. Um, but yeah, I mean, sessionable beers are what a lot of people drink. In fact, the funny thing is, um, the sessionable beers are what sell sells because most people actually don't. Um, when it's like 4.2 percent people will drink two or three pints of it so um, the session stuff works really well looking forward to seeing what they what what they come out with um, on the run up to Christmas I know they've got some uh, barrel age stuff going off um, so it'd be interesting to see how that comes out, whether it comes out into 440 cans or less, um, or even bottles. I don't suppose they've got a bottling plant. Never actually been to Totally Brewed uh, Brewery. And I've been to most of the breweries locally. Um, I'm trying to think and where I haven't been. Obviously Neon Raptor I've been because the tap room's there, Liquid Light again, Navigation Magpie, I've been to all of them, Castle Rock. So yeah, literally not 
one of the only um i've actually stood outside next door to it but that was a yeah i went for a job with their neighbors yeah yeah i said about that better actually the job was an okay job the, the hours were crap the money wasn't that great and they wanted to chuck too much on me and uh, although i can manage and i could manage i don't want to and i'm very much happy looking after myself and not having to go around and telling people what to do. Which is something, you know, don't really want. So, Totally Brewed, um, literally soon, uh, there, there, there is talk of them moving to a new tap room. I've not heard anything for a while about that. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I know it's going to be in Beeston. I'm literally up the road from where they are now. Slightly bigger premises. And they, they, they can. Um, you know, bigger premises is, is, is good. I mean, I kind of like where they are now. But uh, it's not the biggest place. It's just like a little shop. So as long as as long as they get the decor decor right and uh, don't change what they already are, I can't see it failing really. Beeston is a, is a great area of Nottingham for for brewery, um, for for good pubs, um, Star Inn, um, Crown Inn. Star Inn's got Stargazer, which is slap in the face, um, and. Um, and there was a totally brewed tap takeover last weekend. Um, obviously, I was away anyway, so I um, couldn't have got to it. And after the beer festival, you know, there was a lot of beer consumed. And uh, I still think that I'm either going to have to drop my beer consumption down or come off the beer for a bit. Um, I feel bloated, whether I've just... You know, sometimes, sometimes it's closure weird that don't help. I was wearing this jacket, this jumper earlier, and it, my belly felt massive in it. And yet here now, I'm, wear, I'm just wearing a, um, a thermal top, and I, d I don't feel as bad. But I have felt bloated a few days now, so whether I just overdid it slightly last week, um, or overdo it all the time, you know, these things. <laughs> so it does make me wonder. Um, and uh, sometimes uh, with beer reviews sometimes I do sometimes look and think you know and I've said this before that you know do, do I carry on and uh, have I achieved without where I, I'm happy with um, um, It'd be interesting. It'd be interesting future. Um, I mean, for me, being honest, um, and if I had the money, not that I have, obviously, I would love to have my own brewery set up um, using solar panels. You know, this is this is this is the dream. So having buying another house, having an actual purpose-built setup, nothing too big. Uh, I'm quite happy with being uh, more like a nano type thing, um, and um, a nano set up, and uh, yeah, I mean, going into brewing properly, I mean, if ever I won the lottery, if, touch wood, this is what I'd do, and uh, Quite funny, wouldn't it? Getting people reviewing your beers, that'd be funny. Yeah, yeah it's crap. <laughs> On untapped. Not that I use untapped, mind you. Can't be done with it. So, anyway, back to the beer. Chatted for a bit. And again, lovely, hoppy, tropical nose on this. For me, a crowd pleasing, easy drinking Nipa.
Well, like I say, it's uh, it's interesting to see where where Totally Good are going. Um, I would love to see more collaborations. Uh, I do love when they do a collaboration because it's like with the Castle Rock one was fraternising with the enemy, which was which was funny. Uh, yeah, there's there's, a, there's an obvious a um, uh, little bit of wit there, and uh, yeah. And if you know Totally Brewed, you you, you just realise that oh, I've just done something, and that well, that's hilarious. Um, <clears throat> and if you don't, if you guess it, if you guess what I just did, then you'll understand. But in any case, um, Cracking Brewery, as I've always said, uh, been just to see to do a Christmas thing again this year. Um, I did review their Christmas box. I was bought it by my son, and uh, I think I'm sure I did live reviews. Um, not sure where I'm going this year with Christmas stuff. Cost of living, you know, it's uh, getting the beer all down to a more sensible amount of beers again. Um, is going to be key um, and vary it variate in the reviews and stuff but in any case um, like the ABV for me this is a 4.2 out of 5 very drinkable very re-drinkable um, and if you see it on cask or keg anywhere make sure you get it and give it a go an easy drinking New England IPA thank you for watching see you soon